I was watching YouTube videos regarding game development and I have stumbled across this game engine called Godot or Godot however you pronounce it and it quickly caught my attention. It was only about 20 megabytes in file size, fairly small compared to other game engines. And as a person with a potato as a PC, I downloaded it. Mm hmm. As a very bored person, of course, I quickly tried it out. I decided to try and make a 2D platformer while trying to understand the language by watching YouTube tutorials and reading the GD script manual. As expected, it was a rough start. Two hours later. This was quite difficult for me to start with since as the video's title mentioned, I never had any experience with computer programming before getting into Godot. But after a couple of tries later, I got the movement as well as the jumping mechanics to work accordingly. Being able to achieve this for me was a huge milestone. It all went through by trial and error. I may have failed a lot, yet I learned a lot in the process. Aside from the basic movement, I decided to take it a step further by implementing this wall climb mechanic. This was made possible by using a raycast as a wall detector, programming it that once a player hits a wall midair, the Y motion would be equal to zero. Are you sure about that? I also programmed it that pressing W in the keyboard would let the character climb up while pressing S on the keyboard would let the character slide down, creating this awesome moveset for the player. So just a little background story of myself, I may not actually be that good with computer programming, but I'm quite comfortable in doing digital art. This gives me the upper hand when doing sprites and animations for the game. I am mainly using Photoshop and I find it quite comfortable in doing sprite sheets instead of drawing the animations on individual frames. I decided to create a rogue knight fashion main character. I was actually planning to do some sort of a roguelike metroidvania style stealth game. So here is how it looks like in game. Personally, I think it looks really good. So I was messing around with the hue values of the main character in Photoshop and for some reason this gave me an idea of what to do for an enemy. I thought it looked good so I did the same process for each frame for the enemy animation. I went on to create a code which makes the enemy move constantly from left to right, changing direction once his raycasts hit a wall or detect the ledge. I also copied the exact same code to be used for this cute little NPC that I made. And it looks like a pretty decent addition towards the game environment. And what good is an enemy if it doesn't kill you? So I then decided to create an aggression state in which if you are in sight for the enemy, the enemy goes into an idle state for about a couple of seconds and rushes in for an attack. Run. I 
also made it that if ever the enemy loses sight of the player, he then turns around in search of the player, and if ever the player is again on sight, he rerolls the idle state, moving forward for another attack. But of course, it does come with a couple of bugs. sure how to fix that. I could personally say that so far this was my favorite part. I wanted to have an attack system similar to Dark Souls and most RPGs in which the player would have an attack sequence with different animations. I decided to stick with four different attacks. So far this was the hardest code that I have ever implemented by myself. It was made possible with a state machine and timers to sequence the animations and that each animation was numbered, changing every time the player clicks the left mouse button. So far, I am really proud of it. I also juiced it up by creating this screen shake effect once his sword hits the ground or hits an enemy. I also added in a damage indicator by making the enemy sprite flash once he gets hit, likewise for the player. And that was one hell of a month. Thank you for staying till the end of the video. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Big thanks as well to those YouTubers posting tutorials for Godot. Real great help. You can check out their videos if you'd like to get into Godot as well. And if you like my video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. The like would be appreciated. So I believe that's it. I know everything has gone crazy with this time of lockdown, so y'all stay safe. Oh, that's hot.